Welcome back to STL TV Live. I'm Christia Parker. It's that time of year again for the Salvation Army Tree of Lights campaign. And Maureen Concanon is go. here to tell us all about it. How are you today? I'm great. Thanks for having us. <laughs> Thank you for being here. Now talk a little bit about the Tree of Lights. There's a kickoff. There's a kickoff. Mm -hmm. It's this Sunday, November the 20th. Mm -hmm. It happens at America Center, which is attached to the Edward Jones Dome, and there'll be sort of a big tailgate party in there. No cars, just mm -hmm. the tailgating food. <laughs> and the cheerleaders will be there in Rampage, and then um, there'll be a brief presentation, then we'll all go over and watch the football game. Great. Hopefully bring home another winner. Yes, yes, hopefully. We all we need that winner. Yeah, but we, we also do. need donations for the Tree of Lights campaign. That's true, we do. Um, talk, talk about how, a little bit about how this helps and who this helps, the Tree of Lights, uh, all the donations. Well, the Tree of Lights campaign, which is all of November, December, and January, mm -hmm. we close on January 31st, um, is the single largest fundraiser the Salvation Army does in across the United States. Mm -hmm. um, the, the concept Tree of Light started in, in St. Louis uh, almost 50 years ago, and we use these funds to feed hungry people, clothe people that need clothes, pay rental assistance, help people find a new home, job training, all those kinds of really basic needs right. that folks could have that we help with on an everyday basis. Right, and are there is there a goal for this year? The goal is 6.5 million, which wow. is a pretty good step up for us last year, but I really think that's doable. People in St. Louis are really generous. So that's just the St. Louis goal? Well, this is for the Midland Division, okay. and Midland Division is all of the state of Missouri with the exception of the six counties that mm -hmm. bump into Kansas City, and then half of the southern part of Illinois, so almost up to just underneath Springfield, Illinois, and everything south of there. Great. What are you looking forward to most about this year's, can this year's Tree of Lights campaign? Well, you know what? I love the bands. I like mm -hmm. a brass band. I like it any day of the year, but I think during the holidays that the chill in the air and that kind of music is, is thrilling. I'm really excited about Kevin Demoff, who's the COO of the Rams, mm -hmm. being our Tree of Lights chairperson. So it kind of brings a kind of autumn, winter energy to the whole thing. And the Rams have been extraordinary to work with. Wow. Just wonderful. That's why we're having the kickoff. This is a whole new thing for us, having it at the football game. Will there be any Rams players available for autographs or is anything like that? You know what? They'll all be in the locker room. We kind of were hoping game, huh? we could get somebody in there, but I don't think that's going to work. Great. Now, this It'd be the, fun. Yeah, it it's would not be. not going to work, I don't think. This is a family fun event, huh? Absolutely so a family fun. want to bring fun. everyone to this event. If you can, that would be great, yeah. And we have a lot of other family events. I mean, even a family can volunteer to do bell ringing. Mm -hmm. And I got to tell you, there's something both heartwarming and educational about a whole family ringing bells because wow. they oftentimes kids will sing or they'll engage in conversation that adults might not engage in so it's very heartwarming um, when I've rung at the kettles rung bells at the kettles um, with adults that I've known and mm -hmm. adults that I didn't know very well you always learn very interesting things and people come to the kettles and share stories mm -hmm. of how their dad was helped, their brother was oh, helped, wow. or they were helped That's by the great. Salvation Army. So it, it, it's really great for children to be exposed to. Now where would these kettles be? Where would they be? Placed? Well, all the schnooks and Deerbergs and Shop and Saves mm -hmm. will have kettles. Then a lot of other individual stores uh, will have either a counter kettle inside or they'll have bell ringers outside. So you'll find them at, at stores all over the place. You right. can hardly throw a cat and, and not hit one. Right. All right, and well, we're happy for that because the more <laughs> kettles makes it easier for us to bring in the funds we need right. to service so many folks. And guys, our goal this year is 6.5 million. Yes, ma'am. And I believe that we can do it. I do too. Thanks, Christy. Thank I think so too. And thank you for coming. Hey, my pleasure. Hey, guys, you don't want to miss this kickoff. It's November 20th at 12, from 1230 to 2 o'clock downtown at the America Center right before the game. There'll be food, music, fun, Rams cheerleaders. Woohoo! <laughs> You don't want to miss it, and we want to definitely help out the Salvation Army because they definitely help a lot of others. Guys, remember to keep up with STL TV and all of the great events going on around St. Louis. You can friend us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And don't forget, you can catch us streaming live at stltv.net. We'll be right back.